Hello and welcome again to another Shop Hunter tutorial. Today we're going to go over how to find stores to track in Shop Hunter. Now there are many different ways and I'm going to go over starting with the easiest. Number one is basically going to Amazon Movers and Shakers and this is where you can get ideas for products. So what you're going to do is you're going to just you know look for some good products that you might be interested in selling and then once we find something we're going to go to google and search that product and then add all of the stores from google shopping so an example would be um let's see here i'm gonna look and see if we could find something that looks interesting let's say um this rooftop cargo carrier okay i'm gonna click on this first I'm going to take the text for what describes what the item is. And then we're going to simply Google it. And then we're going to open up all of these different shops here that look like they are Shopify. Of course, we know Cabela's is probably not running on Shopify, so we're not going to do that one. And then we're just going to add these stores into Shop Hunter. And then typically what I will do is I will click on tags. I'll create a tag. So say that I'm interested in doing research for car accessories. So I'm gonna just create a tag for car. I'm gonna go back. We're gonna add it so we can tag it and come back to it. And here automatically, I can see this site is currently being tracked. Um, they're doing about $10,000 a month in revenue from this car top carrier bag. That's not bad. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna also add in any of the other stores on here. So we'll track this one as well. And we're gonna add car on it. Oops, that is cat, not car. All right, let me go back here. There we go. All right, once we have added it in, we're going to remove it from our tabs so we can make room for more sites. I'm going to add this one to No, I've done a mistake. Okay, we're back on this. Wow, look at this. As we're adding in stores too, if someone is already tracking them, we can see that they're doing pretty good revenue on other products. Now, what you're gonna do is, once you're like going into one product, you're gonna find other ideas too. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy what type of product it is on the top products, now, after you're done adding the stores for rooftop cargo carriers, we're going to search kinetic recovery rope. Then we're going to open up these stores. And we're going to add them to Shop Hunter as well. So what we're doing over time is we're building a catalog of different car stores that we can get product ideas from. And of course, if you come across a store that does not have any data, that's usually a good sign because that means that no one else is tracking this store. So we need to give it 24 to 48 hours in order to get information on it and figure out what their top selling products are. Let's keep adding the rest of these. Occasionally when you're adding stores, you'll come across a store like this that is not a Shopify store. That's okay. Just means to close it out and try the other ones. About, I would say like 85% of e-commerce stores are Shopify stores. So that means that you're gonna have pretty good luck finding stores to track. 
right, that's another one. So let's close out this one. We have auto accessories. Let's add this one too. That is not a Shopify store, not a big deal. Let's try go to fit. So once your stores are added, you can then go to my shops and you can see every single store that you've added into Shop Hunter. Now for what we were currently tracking, it was car stores. So you go up to the tag filter, select car, and then you could automatically see and filter the car stores specifically. So if you're building a car store, you'll be able to go in here, you'll see which stores are getting the most revenue and you can continue to add more stores in this category by doing what I showed you just by looking at what the top products are, searching them on Google and finding other competitor stores. In the next few videos, we'll be going over how to find stores from other platforms like TikTok, Instagram. So stay tuned.